Make here some seafood gumbo today, y'all. We having a, uh, a card game tonight, so I'm making some seafood gumbo, y'all. Hey guys, everyone's telling you hi, baby. What's up, everybody? Who we got in the house today? I'll show y'all how to make the seafood gumbo down here. What's up, Roy? What's up, y'all? Man? man, I ain't been on in a while, y'all. I'm about to get my videos back right, though. Everybody telling you, hey, what's up, John? What's up with everybody? How's everybody been? How's it going? Hello, hello. What's up, Becca? What's up, everybody? Ah. Don't cut your fingers, please. Seen that, huh? I'm already all cut. Hey, what kind of knife is that? Martha Stewart, y'all. I like them, though. They, they kind of all right. Thank you so much, Nova. I appreciate all the birthday wishes. Y'all was so sweet. Yeah, we had Sarah's birthday. That was, we had a party bus y'all for about eight good hours. That was a wild time. I'll tell you that right now. Sarah, give me a, uh. What's up, Detroit? Oh, uh, like a Winn-Dixie bag or something? Put this trash in. All right, right y'all. So, what I did was, because I'm making a big pot of uh, seafood gumbo, I cut up, uh, Five pieces of celery, okay? So just so y'all know, then I got two bell peppers, all right? Hey, y'all. Here you go, baby. Thank you. So y'all know where we at, y'all, in the process. We just get the dog. Oh, my God, really? What? Not, the kids put the lint roller in the sink. Yes, indeed. So how's everybody? How's the weather by y'all? Down here in New Orleans, y'all, it's hey like a little cool weather and then back out again. Alright, so now we got up here bell peppers, y'all. Go ahead and take care of that. How much uh, size are you working with, Ralphie? I think I'm gonna believe they talk about smoke size. I ain't got that much, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna believe they referred to. <laughs> Call it in a witch's you know what in New York. Yeah, see man, they ain't like that out here in New Orleans. It's, it's kinda it's kinda just barely a little cool, you know. Sun is out, it's a pretty day, don't get me wrong, it just it ain't it ain't too cool, that's all. I think it's what, 75 out there, sir? Um yeah, it's like in the 70s today. It's not bad. Yeah, it's like in the 70s, y'all. What's up, Eddie? Said, man, it's about uh, time for sit up here at 31 uh, Staples and I need to wait on y'all to go live. Why uh, is rough? Oh, poor Ed. Everybody put yeah. him for his knee surgery he yeah, had. Yeah, Ed, man. How you feeling? I messed around reaching for the phone the other day, y'all. I had one phone in my hand. I took my left arm and I reached around and get the other phone. I swear to God, y'all. I thought I broke my back. I don't know what happened. I ain't been right ever since. Ooh, Muddy Outdoors, the birthday boy. Birthday in the man in the house. What's up, Muddy? Happy birthday, Muddy. Happy birthday, brother. Everybody go check out Muddy Outdoors 1980 yeah. on YouTube. It's his birthday today. Y'all go give him a birthday present. Go subscribe to his channel. There you go. I think he made 21 today. He made 21? What? Yeah. You better go live his best life today. Oh, yeah. Thirty nine in uh, Wyoming. Okay. Chicago, y'all, awesome. Appreciate it to Chicago. When is the restaurant open? One day, y'all. One day. One day and today. Come on, Brooke, Brooke, inside. Sure would be nice. I'll tell you that right now. Your dad's in here. He said, hit the like button. That's right, Pops. What's up, Pops? My dad's in the house. 
Yeah, so we're gonna have a, uh, a card game tonight, y'all, like I was saying. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have this big old pot of this uh, seafood gumbo. Got some pumpkin pie, some pecan pie. Of course, some potato salad. So it's gonna be real good. Now, did you make these pies, Ralph the Baker? I did not make these pies. Let me not lie. That's blast for making video. Yeah, I know, but I, I mean, we have a card game. I can't do but so much, you know what I'm saying? Only so much time right now. <laughs> Only so much time. Touch it. Shut the big door, baby. So, I'm seeing the dogs out the I'm show y'all. Let me show y'all this crab meat, y'all. Thank you. Man, it's true. It's you expensive. You got the wrong crab meat, I want to tell you. Why well, I did? You got claw meat. What's the difference? I mean, you always said it's a different time. It's different it. than claw meat, the lump meat. And that was $25 a pot. I know. But it might be hard to find the lump meat anyways, aren't Damn, it? yeah. That's all they had, so I just got it. Regardless. I mean, it'll work. Damn, right, it's going to work. But it looks like it's in a can. It is in a can, but it's not like a can, like, on the shelf. It's like in a fruit, like... In our seafood market. In our seafood market, like, in the seafood department, you buy it in a can. Let me show you. Where? In the fridge. Hold on, y'all. Let me get one and show y'all. Where is that? Right Miss you guys when you're cooking. I appreciate you know. it. See y'all looks like that, love. What's up, Amory? What y'all gonna expensive. play, Davidson? So David. Oh David, you play cards, you wanna come play? You gotta bring you money, right, David? We play uh dealer's choice. So you know we play like uh seven card no pee. Uh Jack's a better trips to win. What else we play, Sarah? Yeah, down the river. We play I Got It. Texas Hold'em. Yeah, we throw some Texas Hold'em in there. Uh, we better not play Blu-ray. Me and Sarah's like I the known losers, like okay? Me. We're going to lose. We already know we're going to lose. We lose every time. Somebody said I'm ready for my season and we need a lot of... I know. I know. I just told Sarah, man, I believe I dropped that ball. I told her, do not forget to mail that damn thing out Monday, man. I'm telling you, shit been so, it's been so crazy. You know? It has been. It's been just freaking chaotic. I got you, Marty. Don't worry. I got you. I got, I got three little onions, y'all. So I'm going to go with these three little baby onions. Three of them. Look. This big. Or one big old giant, you know, onion. Or three little ones. Or you can't find giant onions. Something like that. All the three is so small. Well, it's going to be some good. It's going to be good now. I guarantee you, y'all. I'll tell you that right now. It is going to be good. Hey, I appreciate it. I definitely appreciate it, y'all. So, we're going to do some, uh, the next couple of days. Cause, man, we got Thanksgiving coming up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a couple of that dishes. Maybe y'all can give it a try. And see what the family thinks of it. Oh, Jenny, I even bought the left, right, center dice. I got to find them. Yeah, me and Sarah normally lose about three hundred dollars on card game night. Huh, babe? Yeah, like I just can't catch for some reason. I think they stack the cards against me. Ralph is just goes all in every hand whether he's got something or not. Well, here she goes. You My problem is y'all, like I gotta chase the next thing. Am I the only one that does it? Like, if I'm about to get a flush and you bet like five dollars, I got to bet that five dollars to win. And I never do, so it's really not work. No wind, the food. That's your problem. You don't know how to walk away. No. Never was good at walking away from nothing in life. That's all right, baby. Can't be winners at all things. Very true. Very at least I'm a loser with you. Yeah, we're like the loser team. <laughs> Not in the casino, though. Casino, we can whip them up. We go parting up on the casino, y'all. And if the table's doing bad, I have Sarah to go over there and sit down. She'll bet 25. And I'll be betting two or 300 a hand. She'll lose, but I'll be winning. You see what I'm saying, y'all? Sometimes you got to be prepared to do that. That's okay, Anne-Marie. Go watch your uh, movie with your family. That's Thank right. Thank you. Thank you for joining, um, though. Money said he only needs 37 subscribers to find the live on YouTube. Come on, oh, y'all. Oh, man. Y'all go help the boy out. Money Outdoors. That's our people. 1982. That's our family, y'all. 1980. 1980. 
I always say 82 because that's the year I was born. 1980. Right. Somebody outdoors, 1980. Go subscribe, hit that like button so that boys go live. Yeah, you ready to go live. Um, let's see. That's young, man. Just a young buck. Do you use crock pots at all? Uh, to be honest with you, no, I don't. But I ain't against them, really. I don't freaking use them, though. Honestly, but like, we use them for, like, just keep stuff warm for parties and stuff. Yeah. Now, Sarah sometimes has made, um, you should make, like, a full pork in there. Don't you all use that? Yeah, I would. Well, I used it a lot when I was working away from right. home. Right, right. Like, I So they, they do come in handy if you ain't got time on you. You know, if you, if you rush for time or something like that. Or... Yeah, like I put a roast in there. I like to put my um, pork roast in there to make full pork sandwiches. Yeah. Stuff like that. Yep. But not super big. Otherwise, we just use it for like party meatballs and like the little weenies. Yeah. To keep it warm. Stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, need some Louisiana blue crab. Man, I tell you, man, you know, freaking crabs ain't got so damn expensive, y'all. I'll tell you that right now. Damn, them things got expensive on us. Right on my eyes. David man. asks, how many people are you going to feed with the recipe? This one right here? Ooh, man, this recipe right here, y'all. Bear with me for a second, y'all. Y'all are working? Shit, this is going to feed every bit of 25 adults. Oh, yeah. I got this thing filled to the hill, bro. Watch. Watch when y'all sit. I know you always go overboard. Watch how freaking much gumbo is gonna make. Did you order a pizza? No. It's getting starved. Got it. I might have some chicken nuggets I can throw on the top of I'm gonna show y'all, B. We're about to get it out. Even though I want chicken in this area, I don't think I'm gonna put chicken because I'm going seafood gumbo. Finally got my Dutch oven, Ross. Ooh, I love a Dutch oven. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Hey, Captain Jay's in here, baby. Captain Jay, how's it going? How are you and Miss Mary making out? How's everything? Ooh, Matthew said he's making the boudin dip tonight. Ooh, that's good stuff there. I'll tell you right now. Oh. That is good. That stuff is good. the hell out of me. Oh, freaking good. Oh, we should make that tonight for the game, Ross. No, I We never make a damn gumbo, man. I know, but like a little appetizer to go with it. Blue and gumbo. I mean, crazy as hell, y'all. We got any blue uh, in the free in the freezer? We making some seafood gumbo, y'all. Uh, about to go get this here. We get Sarah to drop this here in the pot, and we're gonna cut up some uh, sausage, y'all. Got to get the crab together. Sarah need the shrimp. Thank. All right. All right. Hold on, y'all. Seafood gumbo. It's gonna be a whole mango like pot full. So shoot, if you use this recipe, y'all, for uh, for Thanksgiving, you know what I mean? You can, you're gonna feed a lot of people. You can do chicken and sausage gumbo. Then, I mean, yeah, chicken and sausage gumbo or seafood gumbo. Seafood gumbo is expensive, I ain't gonna lie. Um, every bit of probably like, probably freaking every bit of this pot probably cost me at the store probably like, well over 100. Well over, probably about 150, about 150, y'all. So it ain't cheap to make seafood gumbo. But write it down. You got five sticks of celery. You got two large green bell peppers and three small yellow onions, okay? That's what we got right there. That's the holy trinity, okay? Now, do we got some garlic? Hold on, y'all. Let me check this here garlic out. You got mint garlic. Mint garlic? We ain't got no clove. I don't think so. Uh, boy, boy, boy. All right. Let me think how we're going to do this here. Um, let me grab my other cutting board, y'all. Hold up. Bear with me a second. We got to cut now, the sausage. Are you sausage. putting chicken in there? I don't think so. Even though I wanted it, I don't think we're going to do it. Hold up, y'all. All right. Let me get this here. Okay. okay we got swole's smoked sausage, babe. Best smoked sausage I ever had in my life, right here. I'll tell you that right now. Guaranteed. Yeah, David, you were very close. He said 130 for the number. Yeah. What's up, Christy B? How you doing? It ain't cheap. What's up, Christy B? In the house. 
Where did you get that huge cotton board? At Walmart. Um, Is that one from Sam's? I want to say Walmart, Sarah. Was it Sam's? It was either Walmart or Sam's. Look it up online. I think Walmart, but Sarah thinks Sam's. Um, it was like $9.99, y'all. I, I like feel it. like it was Sam's. Too. Sarah feels like it was Sam's. I feel like it was Walmart, but it was one of the two. Oh boy, that's some good smoke sausage. You can already smell it right now. Mm. So see y'all up. Cut your sausage like about like that. You ain't got to get too crazy with it, you know? Something like that. Okay, be perfect right there. What is it, about two pounds, sir? Um, I say it's pretty close to three. Two to three pounds. So two to three pounds of smoked sausage, y'all. Whoa, smoked sausage is what I'm using. So if you got that, go ahead and handle that. Got to have some good smoked sausage though. It's still a little bit frozen, y'all. Hey, Not too honey. much. Did Not that sausage much. guy ever get that link to buy it from him? You know, I know he shipped some out to somewhere, Texas or something, but I ain't really sure. But we need to find out, man. We need to definitely find out. I need to make a post. I'll make a post on my uh, Instagram or on my YouTube community and let y'all know. Cause, man, this is some good I stuff. I think he's having a little bit of trouble on the pricing. Because he, he's having a, I think overnight he's it frozen. Well, yeah, but I mean, you know, that's just shipping. is just, you know how that goes. That's just expensive. Yeah, and I don't think he's used to that, that type of business. Because he's like, oh my God. Well, it's like I told him. People understand. I mean, it's, it, you know, shit, you're going to spend a little I mean, money. but. help it. Shipping is shipping. When you're talking food, you need your food to get to your session and fast, you know? So, if you buy 10 or 20 pounds, you know, for the whole year or whatever, depending on how much you use it, well then, you know, the shipping, yeah, it's gonna suck, but at least you're gonna have a bunch, you know what I mean? Join the freezer, because man, this is good stuff, y'all. Make you some red beans, man, everything. You didn't get French bread? Yeah, I got French bread. No, I want to eat wine rolls. I got a whole damn loaf of French bread. They ain't get stuff out the trunk. I don't want to like it. Yeah. Oh, oh, let me get out of the camera. Um, hey, what's up, Miss Gina? What's up, Austin? All right, y'all. Yeah, the sauce is a little frozen still. Okay, this is an F live gumbo, baby. Yeah. That's it, man. About to make this Got seafood sandwich. gumbo. It's going to be a big pot of seafood gumbo now. I'm going to see. You probably gonna have this thing overflowed. Yeah, I'm gonna overflow that pot, I guarantee it. Every time, every time. Every damn time, yeah. Y'all go out oh, this. Please go, if y'all in this chat, hit that, that like button, up. please. That thing, good sausage right there, I'm telling you. Guaranteed. Alright, Sarah, I need the crabs, the shrimp, so I can break them crabs in half. Now let me tell you, if you just do like a chicken and sausage gumbo, y'all, you could probably do that for like $30, 40 But now if you want to do the seafood, maybe probably less than that, probably 25 bucks, you know? It's just cheap. And you do it the same way, you just don't add the seafood, you just put chicken and sausage, that's all. Because you get into adding crab meat, crabs, and shrimp, and shit. Goes up quick, y'all, that price. You already know. Does go up quick, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, what's up, what's up, guy? So, all right, y'all. So we're gonna do a recap in a minute on what we got. When we go to the pot, I'm gonna tell y'all what we got in case y'all decide y'all wanna make it. All right. Tell them I will do my best after the live to pin in the comments. Thank yeah, Sarah opinion. will pin the ingredients in the comments in case anybody wants to make it. This is real oh, good well, Thanksgiving. Oh, you have your full length uh, seafood gumbo video up that has all of it listed. Okay, and I got a seafood stuff. gumbo, but we'll still pin it in the comments in case y'all want to just see it. Um, like I said, you know, it's much cheaper and affordable if you want to do it for Thanksgiving to like, you know, go ahead and do it for Thanksgiving, chicken and sausage, okay? Jeffrey right. Sinera 5. Happy belated birthday, Sarah Ralph. 
Can you make a New Orleans oyster dressing for Turkey Day? It's a good idea. Thank you, Jeffrey. I appreciate the support. Uh, I will make oyster dressing, man. My dad loves that stuff too. Thank I will you definitely make so one. much, Jeffrey. I appreciate that. Yeah. So okay, three pounds of sausage cut up. Y'all ready to roll? I don't want to go to the stove in a minute. Eh? You got them crabs on me? What, you need me to get it? No. Hold on, y'all. Let me just get these crabs. All right. Can I sell them, please? What? All right, y'all. I'm coming. Just bear with me. Uh, look at the crab, okay? So, it's how they look. You just break them apart like that for your gumbo, okay? That's how you want them. You just break them apart like that, you. Well, that's what I do. I don't know if everybody does, but I think that's the best way to do it. Break it in half. See his little gumbo crabs, you know? It's how they look like that. Boom, all clean, ready to go. Break it in half. Well, Y'all can't see it, though. Come on, man. Got no damn room here. Hold up. Hold up, y'all. Alright. Some kind of room. Alright, so anyway, just break them in half, y'all. Like so. All the crabs. Right up in that. He's extra small, I ain't gonna lie. So what time is dinner? Only five and a half hour drive. Yeah, you ought to be getting on the road now. We're ever ready. Who more should pay you for your advertising? Yeah, I know, right? If I wait on that, I'll be dying broke. You gotta just keep cold, so thank you. Do you have your room up? Yeah, so what we do is we made our room. We already made the room because I, I went over that video a lot of times. It takes quite a while to do that. So the room's already gone. We got we good on the room. Yeah, Ralph will yeah. freeze. He'll like jar up or container up his room. Yeah, just what you do is when you're making your room, if you want to spend the day to make some room, you go ahead on and make you a bunch of room, y'all, all in one day. You know what I mean? And then you're going to have some when you need it. If you want to do that, we can just wait till the freaking day and do it that day if you, you choose to, you know? I guess it just depends on how much you use real, if it's worth it, but we, right. Ralph uses it just so much in, for videos and stuff. So just put it in Mason's y'all. Yeah, it's just easier to, he was like, screw this every time I do one, I can just make it all up. Well, and because I already stuff. showed it, and it's like, I show everybody that same process, they're probably like tired of seeing the same damn thing. So the crabs are good. Crabs are good. Sausage, crab, crab meat, okay? Got that crab meat and shrimp. We got shrimp. We got about two or three pounds of shrimp. Give or take. Okay, All right, now. All right, y'all. Hold on. I'm going to bring y'all to the stove now. Thank you for the happy birthday, guys. I really appreciate it. All right. I'm about to bring y'all to the stove. Hold up. Uh, well, Come on, they got a bowl up there. If you All right, y'all. Let's go to the stove. Okay. Move, Lala. Mind you, my baby. No, you good. Problem is, it's kind of low. What do I do about that? Raise your stand up. It's gonna be too damn high. Hold up, y'all. Let me get y'all right. That'll work. Now I need a, uh, a plug, Sarah. Alright, you need a that? plug. I was going there when I was live, so it probably freaking. Now with your magnolite pot like this, we're gonna make this whole pot for y'all. Okay? 
So, fire that puppy up. I don't know if it's good. Yeah, you could use shrimp stock for this if you want. That. Ralph will normally use chicken stock, even though there's no chicken in it. Right. Um. So that's just up to you, whatever your flavor, you know, you want. I don't, unless, I find unless Ralph makes, this is just my opinion, um, unless Ralph makes his own shrimp stock or seafood stock, I don't really care for pre-made seafood stock. That's just me. Yeah. Okay, well. Uh, that's all right, I just bought a hammer about it. All right, y'all, so we're about to do it now and saute this Trinity down. Yeah, baby, I gotta get some groceries. I'm on that way. We're about to saute this Trinity, baby. All right, get that ready. Yes. Really need a, uh, Big metal spoon, you got one? Over there? Five again. How this thing got melted? Melt. Probably leaving it in the pot. Probably the kids cooking. What's up, what's up, Alex? Over the pot. Nate, what's going on? That ain't a big enough pot. Gee, I know that's right. Oh, yeah. Okay, Amanda, you can't even Oh, she's seen the one on my TikTok when I fell on the floor. In the party bus. Oh, you're telling me? Yeah, yeah. Sarah went a little too far on the party bus, bro. You know, seven hours is a long time, y'all, to be partying. Well, what happened was, Ralph was trying to give me, like, a semi little lap dance, let's be honest. And, I, <laughs> yes, he was. And I was, like, kind of slid back on the seat. And that bus turned or something, and I just slid right the hell off like freaking butter in my pan. Yeah, Straight to the floor. Straight to the floor. All right, y'all. So your onions, bell pepper, and your celery, and that's your trinity. We're going to saute that, okay? All right. Make them plenty. Yes, Jeffrey. Homemade shrimp stock is definitely worth the time. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Now, you can also make that ahead of time, too, and you can um, jar that up and save it. Yep. Oh, some good stuff. Definitely some good stuff, y'all. All right. Now, we're going to get it all coated up with that butter. Fire this puppy up. I'm glad I sent you over to Love Your Show. Happy belated birthday. Was it? Thank you guys. One delish. One delish. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. All happy birthday wishes, guys. Yeah, man. Sarah had a good time. She had a good birthday. It, it was fun. Definitely a fun, fun time. Yeah, last year, my birthday sucked. Yeah, she had a sucky birthday last year, but she definitely we made up for it this year. Oh, yeah. I think we made up for it for a couple years. Yeah. Oh yeah. So what we're gonna do, y'all? So we're gonna saute this down, and then we're gonna throw that sausage up in there. We're gonna brown up that sausage. Come on, I'm gonna show y'all. Everybody. Go there we go. That's right. That's right. Hell, nowadays everything's to go. You can't go in the damn McDonald's around here. Oh, someone said you could be a good voice actor. A voice actor. Uh huh. What the hell is that? Like, um, you know, like for commercials, Ninja Boys for jingles, or like cartoon yeah. songs. Down, definitely, I'll definitely do that. Uh, T-Lo uh, at Prodigy said over five. Rob, why was you trying to throw her back on the bus? T-Lo. Ooh, I got Man. some videos of Ralph on that bus on the pole. Man, look. All right, I'm gonna tell you what I that. really wish I could post it. I, I was know. supposed to drink three drinks and chill out. I accidentally drunk the whole bottle of tequila. It was just a total accident, okay? Yeah, my ass. Man, I tell you, bro, we put down some liquor that night, y'all. Lord, have mercy. 
Ooh, boy. Mason, I made some, uh, remember the other night, it was freaking delicious. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. What's up, Brandy? Um, Ralph, will you be adding some Thanksgiving recipes? Yes, I am going to do some, and next, y'all, I know I'm kind of close, but it's coming real soon. I'm going to throw y'all up there some videos from Thanksgiving, I guarantee it's some good Now, Ralph does have, if y'all guys want to go look ahead of time before doing that, um, he does have some Thanksgiving recipes from last Thanksgiving that's on his channel. Yeah. You just have to kind of scroll through a little bit, and, um... It's good stuff up there. They're not, they're like shorts, I think. But, you know, it's like they got mac and cheese on there. They have, I think, seafood dressing. People always say shit that they can't get the macaroni and cheese. Like, we get it, y'all. Like, noodles. Like, nobody has it. People think that we use... I accidentally drank it all. Yeah, it was an accident. They think we use um, spaghetti noodles. Like, but it's not spaghetti noodles. It's, it's macaroni. We got any macaroni noodles? Oh, no. No. But it's, no, so what it is, from what I understood from like the comment section of people talking about it, they have the same noodles, but it's called, like it's named something else. Like here it's called macaroni noodles, but there, it's like the straw noodles, y'all. Yeah, like, like they're the hollowed out straw. And they like hollowed out. So what's up? But it's called something with a B. We, for some reason, it's named different. Oh, really? So yeah. the same noodle name something. So different. I think that was the misconception where people are like, we don't have macaroni noodles, we have like macaroni elbow noodles. Yeah. But it was just named something else. Mm -hmm. Hey guys. So we're going to do y'all a saute this down to at least about 70%. Now don't go no honey. Yes, Arkansas Jazz. Don't know how to say it, but that is what it is. So I don't like to saute mine down because I like to get a little, not too much, but like, it'll still have like a little consistency, consistency, tongue twister today, consistency that we're looking for, which is like a little bit of crunch, but not a lot, but I don't like to uh, saute it down, y'all, where it's like mushy and turns to nothing, personally, but if that's how you like it, you could definitely do it. Yes, guys, that is it. David said, so what happened at the club? Man, we had a party bus club. We didn't even make it to a club. Yeah, we made it to a club. I got, oh! I got in trouble, bro, because I accidentally, again, told the bus driver to pull up at the strip club. Accidentally? Well, that was an accident. My ass. I really was just trying to tell him to go to IHOP or something, but I accidentally said strip club. I don't know what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. That didn't turn out too good, y'all. I mean, it wasn't bad for me, but some fellas that was with me, their wives do not approve of them gentlemen clubs. Them gentlemen clubs? Yeah, they didn't approve of the gentlemen club. Yeah, he had all our guests fighting and stuff. But I was like a 10 minute in, yeah. like, boop, boop. And then I, I said, Ralph, abort mission, abort mission. Yeah. That's how that went, dude. And Ralph was like all like oblivious, I think, on purpose. I don't think it was, no, no. I drank the whole bottle of tequila and then we stopped and got another bottle. I wasn't no joking around. <laughs> that, that is why. He was the team that I'm going to just play the part of the boss and nobody at all. Right? Let him do it. Damn right. I don't know, Panasonic. Alright, all right, that's how you say your name? We was not there long enough to find that. What? She said, do they still want singles or are they looking for five UVs? We wasn't there long enough, man, but I'll tell you what. Ones is the best the baker could do, I guarantee it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> almost almost getting down to 50 cent pieces, bro, around here. Now, they going to put you straight down like play something like that. I bet they won't. Throw some quarters at them, bro. They going to knock them Going out there with a thousand dollars a quarter to see if they don't want your money. Why the hell would you go with a thousand dollars a quarter? Might be your savings. You might go splurge out on it. Of course. Damn right. Who the hell would carry that around? Me. You sound like it. You guys are way back eating. You got one, thank you. We appreciate it. Man, we just, just living, man. Just living, y'all. How long does a fish boil take? Oh, a fish boil? 
Crab ball? Crawfish ball. Shrimp ball. We don't do fish balls. Yeah, we don't we do, do fish. fish fries. A thousand and... <laughs> yeah, fish fries. Let me know if you mean like crawfish ball. Thousand dollars and quarters, baby. I'd be like, all right, who, who don't want to make money tonight because it's quarters? How many of y'all think going to turn around and walk the other way and say, I don't want a thousand dollars and quarters? Huh? Shit. Give me a thousand dollars and quarters. I'll take it. Hell, you can give me a thousand dollars and pennies if you want. I'll take that too. Yeah, well, you want it thrown at you? Well, no, I wouldn't go that far now. Well, I think that's, that would be the issue. I mean, you got to just I mean, roll it up like there. You, can talk you just got to roll a ten dollar... Nine, $10 a quarter on stage, bro. Then you're going to have to trip over it. That's true. Yeah. Right. That shit, that's true, but what can you do? Uh, I'll take three dances to carry it on the stage. <laughs> Boy, I'll never forget you. I guarantee you. Look, you go in that joint, bro, in the jumping club, and you just, look, you take that roll, bro, like it's something serious, man, just roll that thing across the stage, bro. I would be straight just as a $5. Shit. And I'll pick my damn quarters up and get the hell out of there then. That's right. Money is money type of mom. Is there clove, spice, and creole seasoning? Is that clove? Clove, spice? No. I, I don't think so. No. I'm dying. Quarters are going to be. Now you got to roll them things, man. Now, Ralph has a Cajun seasoning. Creole and Cajun is pretty much the same type of seasoning. Ralph doesn't include clove in his seasoning. No. But in general, I don't think so. I wouldn't say so. It's a lot of makeup of different peppers. White peppers, red pepper, black pepper. And cayenne pepper. Cayenne peppers. Well, that's what I think I was calling crab shrimp ball, yeah, yeah. Uh, so what was the question about the crab shrimp ball? How long did it take? So when it comes down to shrimp, you can get your water to a ball, and then once your water's boiling, y'all, then you uh, put your seasoning in there. Before it starts boiling, put your seasoning in there and some onions. I got a video on it and all that there. But to answer the question, once your water's boiling for your shrimp, y'all, you put the shrimp in there. And then you just start mixing them up the whole time because they only take two minutes, man. I mean, shrimp cooks so fast. Now, freaking crabs, on the other hand, you get the water boiling, you wait for it to come back to a boil. Then you put the crabs in. You know, the crabs, once you put them in, it's going to kill the boil. So you wait for it to come back to a boil, and you start timing out 12 minutes. And then you turn the fire off, you cool the pot down, and you just let them soak until they're good, you know, 15, 20 minutes. That's how you do that. We're almost there, y'all. Yeah, almost so there. each seafood is different. A different time on cooking it. Crawfish takes like two minutes. Yeah. But Ralph has a crab boil, shrimp boil, crawfish boil on yep. his channel individually that are like real detailed. If y'all want to refer back to that, and that'll tell you like about your fixing, step by step, boiling yeah, time, yeah. and, all the, and like how much seasoning to use. Yep. Now, Captain J said there is something that's called a fish boil. Yeah, but I don't but think I'm down here, Captain J, huh? No, he's. It's called. I'm trying to find the time. Oh, a fish boil is called a boil. Oh. Word, a bullet, a bullet, a bullet base. I don't know how to pronounce that. Y'all gotta understand, Captain J. He's real Cajun. He's real Cajun, Cajun. So he done seen some stuff in life that I've never seen in my whole life, y'all. I ain't gonna lie about it. They, they got some dishes out there that I've been here all my life and I ain't never heard of. Right? But Captain J can show you all kinds of Yeah, we like the knockoffs from the city, I think, bro. We're actually more Creole. We're not knockoffs. It's just. Well, you get down there. You get down to like Galliano, Grandal. You get down up in that area. You start really getting the Cajun people. Down here, you're going to a lot of Creole people, y'all. I'm going to tell you what. While we still have our culture, it's definitely changing. I find this city starting to become more commercialized. Yeah, the city is becoming more 
commercial and items. And we're going to talk all the accessories. Yeah. It's becoming more like touristy. Yeah. And it's like shaping our, our culture. So what do you do about that? I don't stay true to your roots. I'm about to scoop this out. Give me something to put this in. Oh, here, come mix it for me for about a minute. I don't know where my phone is at. All right, y'all. Sarah, about to mix that for one more minute. We're going to take it out. What is that? I wonder what kind of fish you get out of it. Right. Like how what Why well, how would it not fall apart? What's up? Uh Ross cook is gumbo. Gumbo is. This is why I love y'all super humble and honest. Ah. <laughs> uh, hey man, I went to New Orleans Halloween weekend, stayed on Bourbon Street and saw the Saints kick Tom Brady's ass. I actually love the city of food and the people. Oh, that's awesome. This is a Magnolite pot. Um, the true authentic Magnolite pots, like out here, your grandma is probably gonna have one that's passed down in the family. But you can get these the aluminum. So you can um, get these on Amazon. They, this is like I think a 15 inch. And they have 17 inches. They get a little bit bigger, so depending on the size you want. Ooh, I flipped it up. Um, for like 110 bucks, I think. But they last your lifetime, and then you pass it down. Yeah. So every Louisianian that I know of has at least one of these. They come in different shapes. You can just get like a round one. This is the oval shaped one. Um, and a lot of stuff. Yeah, you kind of do need a bigger one. But let me tell you something, y'all. When you first start to use these here, you're going to make a mistake. You're going to grab the top of that thing like I did. Okay. Or you're going to grab it right here and you're going to get burnt up. You're going to get, don't worry. It ain't going to take you but a couple times and you ain't going to make that mistake no more. Mm -hmm. But it will get you. I'll tell you that right now. It will oh, burn the hell up. Yeah. They said y'all still real. We are real as it gets. We don't fake nothing. Ralph gets a lot of criticism saying that he's a copycat. A lot of people don't know that Ralph's been doing videos for almost two years now before a lot of people came on. I would say the only true original creator would have been like Cajun Ninja. Yeah. He yeah. started like, you know, he on started Facebook it all, yeah. and stuff. And um Yeah. And the bigger other people get, the more Ralph gets like, oh, you copying him. And it's like, well, let's be very honest. If you go back and do your research, even the biggest of the biggest creators have stolen Ralph. Catchphrases. Seasoning. Seasoning. Good that, good. Which it is what it is. But it's Everybody like, follows my lead. That's the reality, y'all. Yeah. Go back and look. And don't lie. They just make I come out with a cookbook. They come out with one. So... My whole point in saying that is, we stay real. We as real as it gets. We ain't rich, we ain't bougie. We got boo boo kids. And we just chilling. And we like hanging out with you guys, you know? So, we're just us. That's right. Fish boiled in a, in like a soup. Oh, I've seen it. Uh, well, Justin Wilson is the OG. Yeah, man, you gotta love him. He's the original. OG. That's going way back. We Frank Davis is also one of our local. Oh, Frank, man. I know y'all seen some Frank Davis. He used to be on the news every morning cooking. He passed away now. He's and a legend wife. out here. Yeah, and his wife. But I meant like social media wise, creator wise, our time wise. I'm gonna show you what they look like. This is how I like to get mine. 
Turn up uh, All right, TG is the truth son and will give a shirt off his back to anyone but that. I will, man. That is true. Yeah, we made a lot of awesome friends on here. Which, what else did you need, baby? Uh, I'm going to need the sausage next. Y'all see how it is, y'all, how I sauteed that? I'm going to show y'all how close. Had to put it down. Oh, this sausage smells so good. Oh, my God. Man, I wish I'd get y'all this sausage. I'll tell you that right Man, now. I'm not even a big sausage person, I swear, but this, just like smelling it. Oh, my God. I need to eat Captain J some of that. I know. Why didn't we bring them down when we went over there? I forgot. And we need to get Muddy some. Muddy some. Muddy and hand David up. asked for some. We need to get, we need we to meet up with Swole and get like a bunch of it and so we can go like, give it out to all our people. Yep. Alright. Give me some out. Give me one of these little plates. Hold up, y'all. Got my fancy plates and all that around here today. Justin Wilson was the deal. I love his show. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I know. So people used to say, man, I... Because, you know, I watched Justin Wilson a few times, of course. I think everyone has from out here, definitely. And I always just say, I guarantee it. And that's why a lot of people say, man, you sound like him. I'm coming down in a few weeks, and we just have to bring him, have him bring some Yeah, definitely. Okay. So freaking good, buddy, bro. And to blow your mind how good that sausage is. Yeah, we've been to Gonzales. I mean, we don't frequently go out there. My daughter don't live far from now. Huh? I said, Kelly don't live far from now. Well, she still lives like 40 minutes. Really? Yeah, Brandon sees about 40, 40 minutes. I think from Gonzalez. Yeah, she lives about 40 minutes. I think from Gonzalez. A little closer than that. Alright. Good enough. Y'all see how I sauteed oh, that? Look. See it? That's how you want it right there, I think. Are we watching the new season of the Tiger King? We did watch some of it. But it kind of just feels like parts and pieces. Like it's every, I feel like it's everything from the first one, just a little bit more detail. Everything so far. Right. Everything. That's the problem. And just some like more current interviews. Now that swole smoke sausage, y'all, you put that up all up in there and brown it up. Oh boy, whole house about to smell good with that. I guarantee uh, you that. It's like that pecan smoke smell. He smokes it with that pecan wood, y'all. Oh big old God. shed. Man, it's good. Oh, yeah. I'll get you a show on a Food Network or something. Man, I know, right? That's sure crazy. Nice. Justin Wilson was from the 80s. He was kids. He was even before Emerald popped up in the world. That's true. He is the original OG. He is. He loves his wine, though, boy. And he was fun. Very funny. Emerald got big, but this food is great. I've had, I've been in his restaurant a few times. But, and he just like came up, bam, bam. But, Dr. Wilson was like, straight up, funny, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He just had a different facade. Well, very true. So when you make a gumbo, y'all, you got to brown your sausage, okay? You don't just throw it in there all that day. You got to brown this up right here. Got to brown it up, baby. Um, it's Mary. You're going to get it all back and more. I promise. Slowly but surely, it'll happen. Old Justin Wilson, always take a step. Always, bro. What's up, Kevin? Fat Cat asked, what's your plan for turkey day? Well, we ain't really doing too much. We're going to be here, Mama and Dad coming through. And uh, we're going to add to that. Maybe go to Sarah's Mama's for a little bit, not long. We're really just chilling, y'all. Really ain't, ain't, ain't too much, you know. Turn the TV down to zero. All right. I'll get, I'll get it. Hey, Mama, you got the no big plans, y'all. What are they cooking this year? Are they cooking everything? I don't know. Sarah don't want to cook everything this year. I really don't. Because the kids don't eat it all, so a lot of it gets thrown away. So she's like, you know what? What the hell we cook it for? We just eat a little bit and then it all gets thrown away. 
So that I don't know, y'all. What's up, Virginia? Virginia, what's up, what's up? Alright, baby. We need to throw this in the oven. So these pigs will leave me alone. Okay. And they act like they stole them. Just stomp them all over. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm still trying to get my Christmas tree in my house and nobody well. will let me do that. We're almost there, y'all. Once we found this sausage, we're gonna rock and roll with him, baby. Yes, son. Okay, I'm coming. Your dad's on live, though. Please remember that. This is how I cook, y'all. This is this is Sarah's is recipe. Okay, so I have four pe four these old pieces left of popcorn chicken in the bag. So I said that's stupid. I have the bag of four pieces of popcorn chicken in the freezer, so that's getting cooked. And this is chicken fingers. I don't even look edible, man. That's so disrespectful to my life. Boy, boy, boy. Ooh, Ralph does have a good um, recipe for pecan pie. Yes. It is actually, you need to redo some of your shorts that are on there into like longer versions. Man, that smells good. I'll tell you that right now, no. That's what you should do. You're welcome. All right, Joe. Jay and I are getting some Thanksgiving lunches from the church Thanksgiving day. Okay. That was Miss Mary. Yeah, I know, man. It's a terrible situation now. Shit. Nobody likes my uh. All right, y'all. My recipe of chicken fingers. We're going there with three pounds of them shrimp, y'all. Oh gosh. Have me one of my seasoning. Yeah, that's Sausage was damn near brown, so I went in there with three pounds of shrimp, y'all. Hood, hood. Hit you in the head. Hit it with that Cajun seasoning, babe. Thank you. The W sauce, okay? Gotta hit it with the W sauce, y'all. RJ couldn't get his friends to go. I don't know why. I thought I heard you talking about it. I was talking about Alyssa, she didn't know. That's all he had to tell me about, too. But then he didn't have his phone. Make so many plans. That's what I told him to tell me about, too. But I'll give him a little bit more time since his phone wasn't working. He's taking a nap right now. Oh, I don't plan to. Miss Mary, I have some. I have two you for pot. you. One of each. Open this pot real quick. You're not, you do not have to buy it. No, oh. show them in the pot. So don't worry, Miss Mary. Just let me know when you want me to send it to you, but I have them for you. Don't worry. Look at that there, y'all. That brown smoke sauce, that brown smoke sauce right there. Some shrimp right there. Man, let me tell you. That's good stuff right there. Trust me. All right, we're about to get rolling now. I don't know if I'm getting the um comments on mine. Oh, wait. Okay, so Michelle, we have actually never deep fried a turkey before. I probably blow the whole yard up, man. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Ralph wants to try it, but I think right. he's... Let's go with this. What I want to go with. What, the deep fried turkey? Let me get you a bowl and put that in. Hot. I got a big bowl, baby. Oh, I got a bowl. No, you got... Look, I got you all your bowls right here. I just moved them. That'll work, either one. Alright. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This is how Brother's Fried Chicken. You put Ralph's hot sauce on the chicken and the seasoning's on the fries. They suck. Ooh, that sounds Telling good, you. Kevin. I love some Brother's Chicken, man. I tell you, they got good chicken. Ralph's hot sauce is so underrated. You know what that is? Where is the blurry picture is blurry? Um, if it's blurry, you may want to like go out and come back in because sometimes that'll happen when you click on the lives. 
I wonder why. I don't know. Miss Mary, all right. Well, I'll send it over there if you want me to send it. You know, I'll probably send it after Thanksgiving because it'll just be held up. So, what's everybody doing for Thanksgiving? What y'all doing? Let's talk about this. What y'all special uh, dish y'all made? My iPhone, y'all. Be honest with y'all. We bought a camera and, and all that day. I think we used it three times. But the quality on the, on your phones these days are better than the damn camera that I paid a thousand dollars for. I know. We really should sell our camera. I thought you we should sell it. Oh, mother. All right, y'all. We're getting that now. We're almost there. So we done sauteed down the vegetables. We done browned that sausage and threw the shrimp in there with some seasoning. Some W sauce. Baby, we getting that. Watch. Watch how we about to roll along now. We're going to have some gumbo shortly. Shortly, we're going to have some gumbo. I guarantee you that. But... Yeah, see, turkey. How much, right? Okay, turkey rice right, right, soup. Just about half of it, be good. A little more. Cornbread, cornbread dressing with chicken. All right, now. We normally do roasted carrots. Oh, look, Sarah, get that thing right down to the table. See it. Somebody said roasted carrots. And I missed it. With something, roasted carrots and something. I don't want to mess up the damn line. I'll leave that cold one. Might be way up there. Oh, so, I missed that French fry in there. One got everything sauteed up, y'all. Browned up, sauteed up, and all that there. Ooh, you do lasagna, Miss Gina, for Thanksgiving? Okay. Uh, turkey rice soup. Oh, Cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls? Green bean casserole with cream of celery and fried onions. Alright, no. Uh, mine is cornbread dressing and stuff. Okay. Miss Mary, me and Ralph have a debate. On, I say Merloton, and Ralph says Meloton. Miss Mary, tell us Melotons. I anybody call it in Merloton. Here, anybody in here knows it's called Melotons, man. It ain't no Merlotons. It's Meloton. It is Meloton. That's it's right. It's Merloton. No, Meloton. Why ain't your daddy stop? Because. And sweet like potato crunch. I love, love, love Meloton. Sometimes, I, last year I made it into a, like a casserole instead of stuffing it. Alright y'all, is it Melotons or Sarah says... Merloton. Merloton. That, that sounds about stupid. Well, I say it how I say it. And guess what? It still tastes good when I'm done cooking. Boy, boy, boy. That's a fact, Jack. Y'all, y'all, Melotons are big down here. Y'all ain't got no Melotons? Yeah, y'all got Melotons. Give me a Meloton on the refrigerator. I think I got, I got some. Throw them away? Yeah, Ralph, that was like a freaking six plus months ago. That wasn't no damn six months yes, ago. Yes, it was. This girl here, bro. You're correct, girl. All yeah, right, so Meloton. a Meloton slash Merloton. I think it's called like a coyote squash. Coyote squash? Or, wait, am I saying it right? I looked this up one time. Give me some more chicken broth, yeah. It's a type of squash, but to me, it's like in between. Broth? Yep. It's kind, to me, it reminds me of a cross between a green bell pepper and a squash. 
kind of a thing. My daddy said milestone. Right. And my mother said what? Merlaton. So I say it both ways. Right. All right, now. See, Miss Mary. I'm adding about five of these here. 32 ounces, y'all. Five of them, if I can fit it. That's good. All right, start giving me everything, man. There we go, Kevin. He said it for me. I don't know if I said it. All right. Don't put that on there. It's Look plastic. Up. God bless y'all. Thank you. God bless you too. Appreciate y'all. Alright, y'all. So now we're taking the vegetables. We done sauteed. Throw them back up off and now. What time do we eat? Shoot, sure, ain't gonna be that long. You're gonna have some mad kids that I can't eat it right now. Oh, yeah. Alright. Take that. All these extra dishes I gotta wash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It costs when you want to eat good. You gonna Look, y'all done shrimp and that sausage we done did. You need to check that out of those doors. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Give me that crab meat, babe. Oh, Miss Mary. Eddie talks about that pie all the time. He does. All the time. Mel it's the melaton pie with meringue. He talks about that all the time. Which one? Um, The crab. The canned crab. And the crabs. I think you think you're gonna need both of them. I'm gonna throw them both in there. You damn right. All right, just make sure you strain them. Um, our light on over the stove is burnt out because Ralph is Ralph the baker, not Ralph the handyman. And I think been burnt out a long time, man. That light has been burnt out for about three years. <laughs> no, not three years. Yes, all. You're getting ridiculous. All right, maybe two and a half. I'll, I'll give you a little bit. Thing. Man, this thing sucks, man. Yeah, so typically, Miss Ginger, with like melaton, like you can't, you're going to, you got to boil them up. You got to take the seed out of it and the, uh, the skin. Man, what the hell? We got anything better to work with than this? No, you got to lift it up off the counter. It's a little ghetto, baby. It's all right. Just got to put some elbow grease into it. <laughs> and you boil them up and then you can I make it into a casserole you could just do it like stuffed bell peppers and you take shrimp and you could uh, mix some like some of your dressing like I like to use the herb whatever what you call it herb season dressing not new stove top I don't like stove top mix that up with your butter and your trinity and your seasonings and your shrimp it's good your butter, all that good stuff, and you could stuff it. But I like to do a casserole, and you just kind of chop up the boil, like once it's boiled, chop it and kind of mash it, get it real soft. And you mix it all in everything I just said. That crust it, and you can put it to a casserole. Oh, what? Man, man, this is great, bro. Oh, it's so good. And you put some breadcrumbs on top with some butter, and you bake it. It's so good. Does it need a light bulb? Butter, butter, I can't remember. Butter, butter, I can't remember. All right, hand me the crabs, sir. Yeah, all right. All right, y'all. So five of these. The other crabs right there. You might open it for you? Crabs oh, you're table. not doing all the can? It's up to you. Wait, baby, you're going to overflow it with your crab meat. I mean, your crabs. I'd be all right. Okay. Wait, y'all don't see us no more? We still buffering? We just put it in, screw it. We bought it, we'll use it. Crabs, you ain't gonna be able to start it, baby. Yeah, agree. 
Right, Speaking of that, give me all them seasonings. We're back. We're back. <laughs> y'all, guys, y'all have been being pretty well behaved today. Can y'all please continue that? Yes, Thank good. you. Pepper, garlic. I got chopped onion here. That'll work. I think she had some down off. She's going to use a real good Yeah, I got everything. It's a lie. Oh, boo, 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 boo. Where's the onion bottle? I got great. I got chopped on you. You get what you get. Oh, bay oh, leaves. Boy. Are you putting gumbo filet in here? Yeah, of course. All Picking right. it up. That, I think that's everything, huh? Should be everything. Should be. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I in y'all's mind? I'm just breaking Trying to break up the, uh, the crab chunks, y'all. Ralph, what's your favorite can? Caramello, y'all, has been my favorite lately. Caramello, is it so good, y'all? So freaking good. All right, how many bay leaves? Like, like five. Like that many. Four or five. Be good. All right, four, five, bay leaf. What song is everybody coming? Gumbo filet. Maybe, look. Be about good right there. Maybe a teaspoon. Some parsley, y'all. Some dried parsley. Throw that up off for now. God, hell, we'll be here to tomorrow with that. Unscrew the whole thing. That's what I do. Put that up off enough. Garlic powder. Definitely. Plenty of garlic powder. Alright. And then onion powder, but I ain't got onion powder. I got chopped onions. <laughs> of course, the W sauce. Boom, a few tip full right there. My Cajun seasoning. Boom. You already know we're going over with that. There and some pepper. I want glad you woke up, baby. I need a favor for me. And some salt, y'all. Salt to taste, babe. Let me bring that Christmas tree box in my house. Alright. Go ahead on and give all that a mix around right there. Ooh, that's good. Now you go ahead on and get that rice cooking up. Now that we got all that mixed up though, we're going in there with the crabs, y'all. Boom, ready to go. Boop. Mix that around like so. Yes, fat cat. Yes, we did. All right, y'all, now turn it down to about three. Let it simmer for 45 minutes. Come show them up close what this looks like, Sarah. Okay. Let me see if I got no more chicken broth. I didn't use them all, huh? Oh, you got a little bit if you want some more. Yeah, I'm going to just finish it off. No, 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 no. You always go overboard, baby. You ain't got to do it. It's filled perfectly. You're going to overboard. No point to waste that good chicken broth right now. Beautiful. Now you're going to boil over. All right. Now bring that camera on up. Let me show them what it looks like. And this is what you're going to have, y'all. This is what you're going to end up with. Check it out. Is that on it? Y'all see that there? Come down a little bit, man. Right there. Y'all check that out, boy. I mean, that's full. Look at that. About 45 minutes. going to thicken up some. Ooh, man. All the flavors are mixing together, y'all. 
man, look at that. I'm gonna tell you right now. Oh boy, that's gonna be good, y'all, for real. Look at that. All right, baby. Like I said, let that simmer right there, 45 minutes. Alright. What else? That's it? The rice. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be really good. Alright, y'all, so. I'm going to post up a picture of it, y'all, on my community and on Instagram. But as for now, y'all, I'm about to jump off, let this cook, and I'm going to see y'all in the next one.